For this video, we're going to have a look at setting up Collision for Unreal Engine or any other engine. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is how to do it in Unreal Engine. So importing a asset that doesn't have any collision and modifying it within the engine itself. The second one I'm going to do is to show you how to set up collision inside of Maya. Uh, doing it in Unreal Engine is probably the quicker way I'd say. Um, it's a bit less complicated but it's not as accurate. It's a bit harder to actually set it up in Unreal I find. So usually if I want to set up my own collision I'll do it in Maya myself. Uh, so this video will show you both ways and you can decide which one you want to do. So I already have a mesh exported out that I want to use uh, for the no collision version. So we'll do that one first. So I'm going to right click in the content browser and import it. Here is my mesh here. This is the no collision one. And then when, once we go to the other version, it'll have collision on it. So I'm going to open that one. You can see here it has auto generate collision. If you turn that off, it's not going to generate any collision. So you can walk through it. Uh, you'll, you won't be blocked. Whereas if you auto generate collision, it will try to create collision depending on the shape of the object. So I'm going to keep it on auto generate for now. And whenever we drag it in, I can show the collision on the screen. Now it's probably a little bit difficult to see it on here actually, we might have to go into the actual object itself and show you that way. So I can turn on collisions by selecting this button here and going to simple collision. And you can see the green box. The green box is our collision object and you can move it and you can scale it and you can rotate it. Basically what you want to try and do here is relocate this collision box to be only scaled to one pillar here. So at the moment I can't walk through the door because this box doesn't allow me. I'm going to turn off the scale snap and I'm just going to scale this roughly to the shape of the doorway here or one side of it anyway. So you're trying to roughly get that there. Now there is two different ways that you can kind of set up the top of this as well. Sometimes what you do is you'd scale it to kind of like the top of the wall there or this, yeah, the wall so that you can put another collision box in that position. It uh, doesn't really matter if you undo, then obviously you can just make a smaller box for this section here. So it'll still work okay. I am going to go ahead and keep it scaled though. I kind of prefer to have it as a long box on this top. As you can see, it's kind of awkward trying to do this. I don't really particularly like doing this in Unreal Engine just because it's a little bit trial and error to get it set up properly. What you can do is hold Alt then on the computer keyboard and drag it over and then you'll get the other side and then the last one you need to do for the top. So I'll maybe show you how to make a new object this time instead of duplicating one that's already been created. So you go to the collision menu here and you have a lot of different options. The one I'm going to use for this shape though is add box simplified collision. So now I have another box that I can manipulate. And again, I'm just going to scale it and try and put it into place. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so I can see. And again, you're trying to scale it as best as possible. Also try not to overlap. So don't let the object overlap with these ones here. Uh, <clears throat> it's more important in actual physics objects if things are like doing ragdoll or anything 
if they start colliding with each other they're gonna have problems uh, actually like uh, acting normal in real time but because this is like a static wall object it's not going to be as big an issue but it's still good practice to to do as well so now I have my collision for this panel here this panel here and the panel up at the top as well then just make sure that you hit save and that your doorway is actually wide enough for your character to walk through and then that will be sorted you can now go through that doorway so the other way of creating your collision for your objects is through my itself this is the same object that I had in Unreal Engine before. A couple of things just to keep in mind whenever you are doing this. Keep an eye on your naming convention because this is very, very important. Uh, I'm just gonna delete all the history and freeze transforms to begin with. Uh, the name of it, I'm gonna call it for this, I'm just gonna call it SM Mesh. So SM stands for static mesh and mesh, just because it's gonna be a mesh, you can call it whatever you wanna call it. Um, naming conventions normally in Unreal Engine, you would follow kind of SM underscore, whatever the name is of the mesh to let you know that it's a static mesh and then what the actual mesh is. So I've got that set up. Next, what I need to do is create my collision and Simply, all you need is another cube. And I'm going to scale this to the size that I want it. Okay. That's pretty good there. And I'm just putting it on top of my object. You can, if you want to, use the snap-in system and everything to get this right in the middle. You can get it very, very accurate to what you want. I'm going to put on just the wireframe just to let me see a bit better. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then I can go into vertex mode if I wanted to and then snap these down to the bottom. That looks good. And then again, I want to make sure that I don't touch these together. So I'm going to just move it up slightly a little bit more maybe. Okay. So that is the first one done. Now what I need to do is change the name of this. This I need to change it to UCX underscore SM underscore mesh 01. Oh, make sure there's no capital. And I need to change it to that there. So UCX lets Unreal Engine know that it's a collision type. So it's a collision object. Then what I can do is duplicate, drag it over to the other side. And quite nicely, it has named it for me already. And then again, I'm gonna duplicate it one more time and this one goes into the middle. I'm just gonna use the other view for this part. And I think that's the middle there. That looks like it's the middle. Okay, and then snap it to about that position there. And just double check that everything is aligned properly. So that's okay there. I need to modify the top a little bit. And then I need to modify the bottom. So just slightly underneath it, like that. And again, now you can see UCX SM Mesh 03. So that is it set up. Naming is very important for this. This is literally the same setup that we have made in Unreal Engine, but instead we've got it set up in Maya instead. So file export. And I'm going to call this one mesh, but it has collision and export. 
Alright, I'll go back over to Unreal. Okay, so I'm going to import my object, Mesh Collision. This time I'm going to turn off Collision, Auto Generate Collision. I have my own, so I want to use it instead. And then just hit Import. Okay, so don't worry about this, just means that it's not unwrapped properly, so that's fine. Then once I open it up and we go to Collision, Simple Collision. There we go. So my collision has automatically been brought in with the, the model. So that will work the way that I want it to work. And you can see now there, there's the collision inside the level as well. Again, you need to make sure you have this on to see that or Alt C is the shortcut. So you can turn it on and off and see what the collision looks like. So hopefully that helps you out.